Hey guys, it's Missy. Actually, 2019 called, we had a little bit of a chat, and we decided that we're not gonna say that anymore. We're gonna follow the footsteps of what a great man Harry Edward Styles once said. Guys, gals, no binary pals. Today, we're gonna live the life of a 2019 YouTuber. So what better way to live like a YouTuber than go onto my Instagram story and ask what 2019 trends have kind of been surfacing lately? The first one that stood out to me was... So in order to do that... <laughs> That was such a YouTuber move. I'm such a YouTuber. I kind of loved it. So why am I doing this? Emma Chamberlain, the YouTuber, relatable and quirky girl that we all love and adore here on YouTube, showed up on my feed. Her entire career on YouTube has been as a teenager. And when I was her age, when I was making my YouTube videos five years ago and I was 16 years old, YouTube was a very different place than it is now. YouTubers weren't sponsored by companies like Louis Vuitton or like... SeatGeek. My point is, YouTube wasn't seen as a real job or a career like it is now. Like, YouTubers are literally celebrities and are millionaires. This took me a long time to kind of like admit to myself because I literally made a YouTube video called Worshipping YouTubers where I'm literally just ranting about how YouTubers aren't celebrities. If this bitch says YouTuber one more time, I swear to God. YouTubers with thousands and thousands and even millions of subscribers, you are not a celebrity, you are just like everyone else. You sit in your bedroom and talk to a camera. And now I would argue that and say that they are. It's a car coming. I feel like such a YouTuber being like embarrassed about filming. I like have to fully admit that there are young kids out there worshiping Jake Paul and there's nothing I can do about it. So I thought to myself, if I was a YouTuber here today in 2019, would I survive? There's a classic lifestyle of a YouTuber that I've kind of gathered from a little bit of research. I'm stuck in 2014, I'm washed up, I have no idea what it's like to be a YouTuber today. I have gathered some things that I can do to fill up my day and live it like a 2019 YouTuber. I'm gonna be honest with you, a lot of these things are inspired by Emma Chamberlain just because she is the queen of YouTube right now. She embodies the girl that, you know, 10, 12, 13 year old girls are looking up to. We're gonna start our day off battled with the idea of just getting an iced almond milk latte like all of the YouTubers do. I swear to God, they're always getting iced almond milk lattes. But I thought, what is more 2019 than ordering what the person in front of me ordered? I got into a car accident like a year ago, so I'm not gonna film while I'm driving. I know that's like a big YouTuber thing is like, drive with me. Unlike most YouTubers, I'm not a millionaire, so I can't afford getting into another car accident and making my insurance spike up somewhere. What better way to get inspired as a 2019 YouTuber than listen to Tana Mojo? I'm in my white suburban neighborhood and I don't think I can be blasting Hefner like this. <laughs> I'm sorry to do this, but is it possible if I could order the same thing the person in front of me ordered? I'm sorry, what did you say? Can I order the same thing the person in front of me ordered? I think so. Give me one second. Let me see. I'm gonna make sure that we have two of the salads. Okay. We actually, I'm sorry, but so we actually only have one of that. Sure. Um, we do have um, I'll just take the one salad that they got. Can I... Okay. Okay, that was really bad and I feel so bad. But she got a salad, so like, girl, thank you for lunch. It's like so embarrassing and I don't know how the YouTubers do it. Thank you. Would you like your Uh, no thanks. I hated that so much. Oh my God, I already can't be a 2019 YouTuber. They got a venti cup of water, which kind of sucks because I'm trying to be less wasteful, but I guess kill the planet for YouTube. And then they got a za'atar chicken and lemon and tahini salad. So that's fun. Fun, fun, how fun, fun, fun. Fun. Being a YouTuber so hard, like I just ordered a salad at the drive-thru and like the Starbucks worker like tried to kill me and then I like called 911 and then the police came and then they tried to kill me and it was like crazy. I found some better lighting so now we're here still eating a salad in my freaking car. Basically YouTube has become this huge empire and I'm sure we all know it like I don't need to explain how crazy YouTube has become and I'm only 21. I can count higher than 21. And, but I've been on YouTube since I was very very young like way too young to be putting myself on film for the whole world to see. I have my spoon, the cinnamon, you know what that 
bad. <laughs> They're called influencers for a reason. Like they have such a huge influence, especially on younger people that are easily influenced. When I was doing research for this video and seeing what kinds of things YouTubers today do, I quickly found the dope girls and the kind of lifestyles that they lead and like just seeing them so perfect and pretty and skinny going to Fiji having a great time with my friends I was realizing how toxic a portrayal of life could be to someone younger and maybe I'm not even making any sense but just looking at those photos I realized the difference like when I was younger looking up to Hannah Montana like I knew there was a separation between us like there's no way that my life could be even remotely similar to hers and I knew that but I think that is part of a big appeal of YouTube is like YouTubers daily vlog their lives it's not crazy to think that I could live the same lifestyle as a YouTuber that being said I think it's kind of an unrealistic portrayal of what teenagehood is and what it should be So maybe it is 2012 again because these look like the leggings everyone used to wear. Okay, so the door's locked and I think it's because I'm a minute late. But uh, this would be great for the vlog if I missed my class. So I missed the class. I also just feel general anxiety and stress. This morning, I missed my soul cycle class. I'm really glad that this is happening. I'll see you back in my car where we belong. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But I was giving it some thought, you know, trying to find my zen about the situation because I was a little bit mad that we missed it because I was vlogging. What's more 2019 YouTuber? Actually going to spin class or sitting in your car complaining about something that doesn't even really matter? I get people need tough time with their families, but I also need a burrito. On top of all that, is there a point to going to a spin class if you're not wearing set active wear? All right. We're back inside. And I figured we should take some photos because obviously a big part about being a YouTube influencer is being an Instagram model. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh. No. He's gonna be taking photos for me and we'll see if I can channel my inner Insta baddie. I wish I had those little tiny sunglasses that all the Instagrammers do. Okay, so I don't have Nike socks or Nike Air Force Ones, which I know is iconic Emma. Adidas with Adidas socks, so. So I took some photos for inspiration and we're gonna do that. Literally looks so dumb. Okay, so I guess I should provide some concluding thoughts. Um, honestly, the photo shoot portion was like way harder than I thought. I just don't know how she does it. If my literal job was just to look good and like take photos for Instagram, I think I would drive myself insane. What else should I talk about? I guess all in all, I do respect YouTubers. I mean, today I didn't really do any. I missed my spin class and I went to Starbucks. It was gonna say they work hard, but I guess this video like didn't showcase that. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash that like button and leave a comment down below. <laughs> yeah, like my social blade is so red right now because I haven't posted in three years. I tried my hardest to be not too problematic, so I hope this didn't like offend anyone. Um, I offended your pussy. <laughs> if you've actually made it this far into the video and you're watching this right now, please leave a comment down below, like actually, because I have no idea who is actually still subscribed to me. But don't expect anything because it'll probably be another three years. See you guys in three years.